Hello, it's Nick, and today I want to talk about DevMod in Figma. DevMod is a dedicated space for developers that allow them to review design ready for implementation. Previously, Figma offered Inspect Mode that allowed the inspection of UI design. But now all features from the Inspect Mode were transferred to the Dev Mode. The mode is intended to bridge the gap between design and development. As you probably know, Dev Mode will be a paid feature starting in February 2024. The goal of this video is to understand if Dev Mode is something that you need to pay for. Let's switch to the dev mode by turning this toggle on. When the toggle is green, it indicates that we are in a dev mode. Both left and right panels look different in a dev mode. On the left side, we have our pages and layers. One you think is ready for development. I will talk about this feature later in this video. On the right side, we have inspect and plugins. If you don't select any elements, you will see a code settings in which you can specify language and measurement unit. Since we are designing mobile UI, we can switch to iOS and select Swift UI as a language. We can leave pixels for units or select points if we need density independent units. Let's select the frame with our design. As soon as we do it, we will see the inspect panel populated with new objects. Let's review them one by one. You notice dev resources where you can connect different resources to your projects, such as GitHub repository. Next comes the code section with the box that allows you to evaluate the paddings and margins for selected objects. Code is created in accordance with your selection in the code settings. In our case, it's a Swift UI. Next comes a section with the style properties and visual assets. Color, variables and images can be found here. Last comes the export section that allows you to export selected elements. The inspect shows the properties of a selected item. So, if we select a particular UI object such as text or UI element, we will see the properties of this object. If we select the UI component, we will see a call to action open in playground. If we click it, we will see a space where we can experiment with different properties of the selected component without changing the actual design. The properties will be the same as we created in the Figma editing mode. Perhaps the greatest thing about the dev mode is its real-time inspection feature. You can inspect the sizing, paddings and margins of any element in your design. The major downside of this feature is that you cannot modify the objects in real time. For instance, if I want to change the spacing for the text header, I need to move back to the editing mode and change it there, and then return to the dev mode to validate my design. This is not very convenient. And now, as I promised, let's talk about ready for development. When certain screens are ready for development, we should highlight them, so that the engineering team can easily understand what is ready for implementation. But instead of creating a separate page in a Figma file and copying frames there, we can simply mark frames with a ready for development attribute. When you select a frame, you will see a new icon in the top icon bar. If you click this icon, you will mark this frame as a ready for implementation. If you switch to the dev mode, in the left bar you will see frames marked with ready for development. Ready for development works perfectly well with a version comparison. Suppose you introduce a change in your design after making it ready for development. In my case, I'm changing the color effect for the top part of the screen, from solid to gradient. And I want to make sure that my engineering team will spot this difference. Instead of leaving a comment in Figma for developers, I can navigate to the dev mode, select a certain frame and click compare changes. You will see a side by side comparison of design along with the history of changes. You can see all the changes you introduced in your design since the last version. When you click on a particular modification, you will see a highlight for the section that was modified as well as a code difference for it. So this is what the dev mode in Figma really is. Let me know what you think about it in the comments.